So today we have a Sherna Malone under our needle. Sherna works here in Clannacilty under the umbrella of the Aesthetic Clinic in Clannacilty. So she's literally in the room next door to us here. Uh, uh, those of you who are on TV would know Sherna from uh, the afternoon show on RTE in the afternoons. Uh, although it's ceased now, I think, until the September. Um, her mom was Bronwyn Conroy and Sherna, uh, as we all know, is a celebrity facialist. So we're so lucky to have her working so close by to us here. Uh, so I can slip in and out and have my own facial stuff. Anyway, Sherna's story is, and I've known her for 10 years, has been complaining, even in all of those 10 years, that the quality of her hair had deteriorated. She had uh, thin hair. And in the last number of years, she had noticed that not only was her hair thin, but it was actually getting thinner. And she felt that she was having uh, what they call male pattern baldness. So it was starting to recede here. Anyway, Sherna has thrown the kitchen sink at this. She has been to Philip Kingsley in the UK, uh, is on various drops with estrogen on it. She'll tell you about this herself. Uh, she's... Um, has done microneedling with calcium. She has done, uh, has seen uh, Professor Katrina Ryan in the Institute of Dermatology in Dublin, who has her on oral minoxidil and spironolactone, which are cardiac drugs, but used when used together, they actually work from within. Um, and she has noticed that there's new hairs coming in the areas here. Um, albeit thin, so she's decided to try PRP too. So, Sharna, as you know, is in the room next door to me here, in under the umbrella of the aesthetic suite here in Clannacilty. And over to you now in a second, Sharna. Okay. But I know in the length of time that I've known you for ten years, you've been mm. talking about your hair being yep. <laughs> thin. Um, you've done all the things. Uh, yeah. What have you done? Well, basically, I suppose I would have noticed it more now, perimenopause and menopause. Mm. And unfortunately, uh, when I was a little bit younger, I did play around with extensions and that was dreadful for my hair. Mm. So what I have been doing is I have been applying a um, topical treatment to my hair every single night from the Philip Kingsley, the trichologist yeah. there. In London. Uh, yeah, yeah, in London. And yeah. I have seen some really great improvement with you know hair growing back let's oh, say yeah. here and it is growing yeah, yeah which is great and then when i was up in dublin recently i attended professor katrina ryan and we said we would try and help with the growth internally with um, medication yeah so i'm actually on a combination of spironolactone and oral minoxidil Fab. but we've only just started that okay. olive so Professor Katrina Ryan would have said that this can take, you know, seven to nine months to see improvements. But for me, my biggest bugbear, I'm really noticing the parting um, yeah. and being quite sparse there. And obviously I'm getting this, you know, female, male pattern baldness. But we do have a bit of new hair growth. You do, which is great. But I'm just saying let's throw everything at it now. Okay. And You're right. ERP is one I'm I, actually Yeah, and I'd really be hopeful that yeah. because it's targeted into the areas that okay. are bothering you the most... It's your own platelet-rich plasma full of growth factors mm -hmm. and full of stem cells. So it actually, so the minoxidil and the spironolactone will do what it needs to do yeah. from the inside. Yeah. Um, for men, they can take finasteride, but women can't take finasteride. Okay. But once uh, they do their thing, um, we will hope that the PRP will improve the capillary blood supply mm -hmm. to the hair follicle. And between it all, that will eventually get the lovely baby hairs yeah. that you have that are going back. Because you've had a result, yeah, which yeah, is great. Which is fantastic. So we want yeah. to strengthen it up yeah. and hopefully maybe see less yeah. of your scalp when your yeah. parting is there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Brilliant. Thanks, okay. Olive. Let's do this. Okay. So, Sharna, we were able to yield a good 10 mils of blood. It has, I'm harvesting, I'd say this will come to 7, 7.5 mils. Um, and we're going to insert it into Sherna's, uh, probably the start at the sides here and the front here and here. And then we'll, have, we'll move back the scalp. We'll concentrate on the front area of your, of your scalp today. I've cleansed the scalp with Clinicept. It smells like a swimming pool, but it's the only way that we can actually cleanse that area. And Sherna washed her hair for us last night. 
um, no minoxidil no, tonight, yeah, yeah. Um, and no minoxidil tomorrow night, and there'd be no washing of the hair for the next two nights either. So I would normally use the gum because uh, it gives very measured amounts of uh, PRP. But Sharon has very, very thin skin um, and thin skin in her scalp as well. So I'm being a bit kinder to, <laughs> to her today by using a really tiny needle. Um, so, yeah, um, it's still the same. It'll only take about 12 minutes to administer. But uh, I'm really happy with the quality of the PRP that we got from her today. So let's go. So all of it is gone, all 7.5 mils. We got a good, yeah. good harvest. So 2.5, 2.5 and 2.5, 7.5. Um, I'm glad I used the really tiny needle on Sharna. She's got a really, really thin scalp. It wouldn't be the same with men. Uh, they tend to have a thicker scalp, obviously. Now, Sharna was a really good patient, but I think she was just being good for the video. Oh. From a pain point of view, how did you find it? All have asked me, you know, on a scale of one to ten, and I would have said five. Um, the right area was a little bit more, or felt more tender. But yeah, it's certainly like, yeah, I've had worse things done from a pain level point of view. Yeah. So yeah. no, it was absolutely fine. Okay, well, yeah. like, uh, some yeah. people would only find it about a two out of ten. Yeah. I've had it done myself yeah. because I have hair thinning as well going yeah. on at the moment, and. I would be the four or five yeah. um, out of 10 also. So given that it's done so quickly, mm -hmm. uh, now uh, I usually say 12 minutes, but Sharna's skin um, and her scalp is so beautifully thin, the needle just glided in mm -hmm. and we were done in less than five yeah. minutes, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Um, so then we do a small massage of the scalp just to make sure that it actually mm -hmm. uh, flows underneath the scalp into the areas that we wanted to do its magic. She might feel a tingling sensation over the next couple of hours. Okay. Um, uh, most important thing is that you don't get your um, hair, hair washed. Yes. So yeah, you can yeah. use a wet comb to style okay. it into place tonight okay. and tomorrow, but okay. no, no hair wash, okay. um, no products in your hair okay. for the next two days. And then you'll be back then to hair washing and using your Minox or whatever you're using okay. topically yes. again. Yeah. Drops. Continue yeah. your okay. oral uh, treatments and um, then we'll see, we'll check in again in four weeks' time. Four weeks' time. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant.